the, the students have put in a ton of time and effort, uh, hopefully not culminating in today, but for a good number of our teams advancing to the states as well. So we're looking forward to uh, getting to the award ceremonies. Uh, just a couple things uh, administrative that we want to go through initially. Uh, we will keeping pretty much everyone on mute today. Uh, just to keep down on the on the background noise and and cross talk on the award so everyone can hear. Uh, we are recording the session, so we'll be able to uh, post it to the web, hopefully, and get everybody a chance to see it if they weren't able to. Um, my name is Matt Weicker. I'm the director for the Region 7 Science Olympiad Board at the secondary level for both B and C divisions. Uh, there's a number of other board members that support me on a, on a regular basis, and a good number of them are probably listening in right now. One in particular is the, the deputy director, Mr. David Cambridge. He's going to be assisting me in going through the uh, awards tonight. Reading, we'll alternate reading the B and C awards for the two, uh, the two uh, division levels, B and C. So with that, let me uh, go ahead and start the award presentation. Uh, kick that off. We will share my screen. So I don't forget to do that. OK, so um, as I said, today is the, the Michigan Region 7 uh, 2021 award ceremony. It's the first time in two years that we've had the opportunity to do this. Obviously, last year's tournament got canceled, uh, which was not anything anybody wanted on, on any side at all. Um, so, but we've made it. It's been uh, an interesting year, and I know the students and the, the coaches, the event coaches, have put in a ton of time preparing. So, uh, thank you for all of all of that hard work and effort. Uh, some special thanks that we want to send out, uh, especially being in a virtual environment and trying to do everything remotely. It, it normally we have a ton of tournament volunteers that help out on tournament day. We didn't have as much of a need for those this year, but we did still have a, a need for all kinds of volunteers. Event supervisors all stepped up to, to host it on a virtual platform for the first time ever, which has been a challenge uh, at times to get that working, uh, as all of the coaches and students know as well. Parents, thank you for being patient and, and cooperative and making sure everybody can, can try to do the best they can in, a, in this tournament. Uh, coaches, of course, we're always thankful for coaches, not just the, the team coaches, but event coaches as well. Uh, the tournament board members, as I said, I, we, Dave and I could not do what we do without having a fair amount of support and, and uh, uh, activities and coordination from the board. So my thanks to everybody. And of course, uh, the students have been a huge uh, benefit. They are the reason why we do this tournament, and it's the reason why all the volunteers uh, like to spend some time generating tests or going through tests, uh, training the students, trying to figure out side Olympiad. It's the only reason most of us do it at all is because of the students and uh, hopefully all the students enjoyed the tournament this year, although it's different than in past years. Uh, and we're all looking forward to getting back into a in-person environment back to Macomb Community College. Um, we do still have, in fact, we have not lost any sponsorships really. Uh, these organizations have been very helpful and um, charitable in their giving to Science Olympiad to make sure that we go forward uh, despite all the problems and setbacks and not having a tournament last year. So um, these are the companies uh, that have, and other organizations that have been supporting us for years we like very much to, to, to recognize them. We did not do a program this year, so we're including them in the presentation materials uh, just so that we can identify it. Some of you have identified or gotten grants from NDIA in the past. Those are continuing. Uh, ZF and Macomb Community College, although we're not doing it on Macomb in person, uh, they have both stepped forward and continued to uh, provide scholarships. We do have 14 scholarships that we're going to be giving to uh, a random drawing of first place winners at our C division events. Uh, General Motors has continued to be very uh, generous in their contributions to Science Olympiad and making sure that we go forward. So despite the fact that uh, that we didn't have a tournament last year with the cancellation, it uh, made it was a late decision and, and unfortunate, but 
the the sponsors were very good at not holding that against us for this year. So thanks to all of these uh, sponsor organizations. So with that, we'd like to jump right into the award ceremony on the specific events. Um, we have, as I said, we are keeping most of the, the, the teams on or the individuals calling into the meeting on, on mute. Dave and I will be alternating back and forth in between the B and the C divisions. I will be reading the B divisions and Dave will be reading the C divisions. Uh, since we are keeping everybody on mute, we didn't want it to be quite as dry as some of the other invitationals have been in terms of recognition and, and applause. So after each of the teams have been announced for each event, we have a little applause counter that will uh, go off for cheering. So uh, with that, uh, seventh place for anatomy and physiology is Seneca Middle School. Sixth place is Epler Junior High. Fifth place is Algonquin Middle School. Fourth place is Mallow Junior High. Third place is Romeo Middle School. Second place is Davis Junior High. And first place is St. Augustine Catholic. Okay, Division C, Anatomy and Physiology. In fifth place, Eisenhower High School. Fourth place, Chippewa Valley. Third place, Stevenson. Second place, Utica. And first place, Anatomy and Physiology is Dakota. Congratulations. So you, you've probably noticed already that we are announcing the first seven positions for the B events and five positions for C events. Those are the number of schools that are going to receive invitations to the state tournament. So we're being consistent with the number of uh, event recognitions for each one that we are announcing. If there are less teams announced for any given event, um, it means that there were less teams that uh, participated in that event this year. Okay. Division B, Circuit Lab, sixth place, Romeo Middle School, fifth place, Seneca Middle School, fourth place, Iroquois Middle School, third place, Algonquin Middle School, second place, Davis Junior High, and first place, Mallow Junior High. We do have an alternate team participating this year. So first place for the alternate event in Circuit Lab, Seneca Middle School. Division C, Astronomy. In fifth place, Lance Cruz. Fourth place, International Academy of Macomb. Third place, Stevenson. Second place, Eisenhower High School. First place, Chippewa Valley. Division B, Crime Busters. In seventh place, we have Romeo Middle School. Sixth place is Mallow Junior High. Fifth place is Iroquois Middle School. Fourth place, Davis Junior High. Third place, we have Epler Junior High. Second place, Seneca Middle School. In first place, Marysville Middle School. Division C, Chem Lab. In fifth place, Richmond. Fourth place, International Academy of Macomb. Third place, Chippewa Valley. Second place, Stevenson. First place, Eisenhower High School. Division B, Density Lab. In seventh place, we have Marysville Middle School. Sixth place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. Fifth place, Iroquois. Fourth place, Davis Junior High. Third place, Seneca Middle School. Second place, Mallow Junior High. And in first place for Density Lab, Wyandotte Middle School.
Division C, Circuit Lab. Fifth place, Richmond. Fourth place, Chippewa Valley. Third place, Utica. Second place, Eisenhower. And first place, Stevenson. Division B, Digital Structures. In fourth place, we have Iroquois Middle School. Third place is Seneca Middle School. Second place is Mallow Junior High. And in first place, St. Augustine Catholic. Division C, Code Busters. Fifth place, Lance Cruz. Fourth place, Chippewa Valley. Third place, Eisenhower. Second place, Stevenson. First place, Utica. Just to note, I was not the one that misspelled school on that last one. Is that me? <laughs> Division B, disease detectives. Lance Cruz Middle School North in seventh place. Sixth place, Marysville Middle School. Fifth place, Iroquois. Fourth place, Mallow Junior High. Third place, Wyandotte Middle School. Second place, Davis Junior High. And in first place for disease detectives, St. Augustine Catholic. Alternate award on this event, Seneca Middle School for first place. Division C, Designer Jeans. Fifth place, Utica. Fourth place, Lance Cruz. Third place, Dakota. Second place, Eisenhower. And first place is Stevenson. Division B, Dynamic Planets. In seventh place, we have Huron Academy. In sixth place, we have Mallow Junior High. Fifth place is Marysville Middle School. Fourth place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. Third place is Iroquois. Second place is Wyandotte. And in first place for Dynamic Planet, Davis Junior High. Division C, Detector Building. Fifth place, Dakota. Fourth place, Utica. Third place, International Academy of Macomb. Second place, Stevenson. And first place for detector building, Eisenhower. Division B, Experimental Design. And in fifth place, we have Huron Academy. Fourth place, Wyandotte Middle School. Third place, Iroquois. Second place, Davis Junior High. And in first place for experimental design, Mallow Junior High. Division C, Digital Structures. Fourth place, Stevenson. Third place, Eisenhower, second place, Dakota, and first place digital structures, Chippewa Valley. Division B, food science. In seventh place, we have Iroquois Middle School. Sixth place is Huron Academy. Fifth place, Mallow Junior High. Fourth place, Seneca Middle School. Third place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. Second place, Davis Junior High. And in first place, St. Augustine Catholic. Division C, Disease Detectives. In fifth place, Chippewa Valley. Fourth place, Stevenson, third place, 
Eisenhower. Second place, Lance Cruz. And first place, Disease Detectives, Utica. Division B, Fossils. In seventh place, we have Huron Academy. Sixth place, Marysville. Fifth place, St. Augustine Catholic. Fourth place, Mallow Junior High. Third place, Iroquois Middle School. Second place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. And in first place for Fossils, Davis Junior High. Division C, Dynamic Planet. In fifth place, Chippewa Valley. Fourth place, Utica. Third place, Dakota. Second place, Eisenhower. And in first place, Stevenson. Division B, Game On. In seventh place, Epler Junior High. In sixth place, Iroquois Middle School. Fifth place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. In fourth place, Marysville. Third place, Romeo Middle School. Second place, Davis Junior High. And in first place for Game On, Mallow Junior High. Alternate award for this event, first place, Seneca Middle School. Division C, Experimental Design. In fifth place, Lance Cruz. Fourth place, Dakota. Third place, Stevenson. Second place, Eisenhower. And first place, Chippewa Valley. Division B, Helicopters. In third place, we have Mallow Junior High. Second place, Iroquois Middle School. And in first place for helicopters, Epler Junior High. Alternate award in this event, first place, Seneca Middle School. Division C, Forensics. Fifth place, Richmond. Fourth place, Chippewa Valley. Third place, Dakota. Second place, Stevenson. And first place, Eisenhower. Division B, Heredity. Seventh place, Romeo Middle School. Sixth place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. Fifth place goes to Iroquois Middle School. Fourth place is Seneca Middle School. Third place, Mallow Junior High. Second place is Davis Junior High. And first place in heredity goes to St. Augustine Catholic. Alternate award in this event, Seneca Middle School. Division C, Fossils. In fifth place, International Academy of Macomb. Fourth place, Chippewa Valley. Third place, Lance Cruz. Second place, Stevenson. And first place for Fossils is Eisenhower. Division B, Machines. In seventh place, we have Algonquin Middle School. Sixth place is Iroquois Middle School. Fifth place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. Fourth place, Seneca Middle School. In third place, Davis Junior High. Second place, St. Augustine Catholic. And in first place for machines, Mallow Junior High.
Division C, Geologic Mapping. In fifth place, International Academy of Macomb. Fourth place, Dakota. Third place, Richmond. Second place, Eisenhower. And first place for geologic mapping is Stevenson. Division B, Meteorology. In seventh place, we have Epler Junior High. In sixth place, Seneca Middle School. Fifth place is Algonquin. Fourth place is Mallow Junior High. Third place, Iroquois Middle School. Second place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. And in first place for meteorology, Marysville Middle School. Division C, helicopters. In fifth place, Richmond. Fourth place, Chippewa Valley. Third place, Dakota. Second place, Eisenhower. And first place for helicopters is Utica. Division B, Mission Possible. In fourth place, we have Iroquois Middle School. In third place, Epler Junior High. In second place, Mallow Junior High. And in first place, St. Augustine Catholic. Division C, Machines. Fifth place, Dakota. Fourth place, Lance Cruz. Third place, Eisenhower. Second place, Chippewa Valley. And first place for Machines, Stevenson. Division B, Ornithology. In seventh place, we have Algonquin Middle School. Sixth place is Marysville Middle School. Fifth place, Mallow Junior High. Fourth place, Iroquois Middle School. Third place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. Second place, Davis Junior High. And in first place for ornithology, St. Augustine Catholic. Division C Ornithology. In fifth place, Richmond. Fourth place, Utica. Third place, Stevenson. Second place, Eisenhower. And in first place for ornithology is Chippewa Valley. Division B, Reach for the Stars. Seventh place, Epler Junior High. Sixth place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. Fifth place is Romeo Middle School. Fourth place, Iroquois Middle School. Third place, Seneca Middle School. Second place, Wyandotte Middle School. And in first place for Reach for the Stars, Davis Junior High. Alternate award in this event, first place, Seneca Middle School. Division C, protein modeling. In fifth place, Dakota. In fourth place, Chippewa Valley. In third place, Lance Cruz. In second place, Stevenson. And first place for protein modeling, Eisenhower. Division B, Road Scholar. In seventh place, we have Iroquois Middle School. Sixth place is Marysville Middle School. Fifth place, Romeo Middle School. Fourth place is Epler Junior High. Third place, Mallow Junior High. Second place, Davis Junior High. And in first place for Road Scholar, Wyandotte Middle School.
Division C, Sounds of Music. In fifth place, Richmond. In fourth place, Eisenhower. Third place, Lance Cruz. Second place, Chippewa Valley. And first place, Sounds of Music, is Stevenson. Division B, water quality. Fifth place, Davis Junior High. Fourth place, Iroquois Middle School. Third place, Huron Academy Middle School. Second place, Marysville Middle School. And in first place for water quality, Mallow Junior High. For the alternate awards in first place, Seneca Middle School. Division C, water quality. In fifth place, Dakota. In fourth place, Chippewa Valley. In third place, International Academy of Macomb. In second place, Stevenson. And in first place for water quality, Eisenhower. Division B, right at Cadet. Fifth place, we have Wyandotte Middle School. Fourth place, Seneca Middle School. Third place, Davis Junior High. Second place, Marysville Middle School. In first place for Division B, right at Cadet, Iroquois Middle School. Division C, right at Cadet. In fifth place, Dakota. Fourth place, Richmond. In third place, Eisenhower. In second place, International Academy of Macomb. In first place, right at Cadet, Chippewa Valley. All right, so scholarship winners. So as I mentioned, there was a some collaboration between the ZF organization and Macomb Community College. ZF is providing the funds and Macomb Community College is going to use that funds for 14 scholarships of $500 each to first place Division C students. All students who received a first place event award for a Division C event were put into a, a random drawing. Uh, there were 14 winners selected from the, that list. Those individuals are gonna be contacted later um, but we have them identified here. We will go through them one at a time. And you have to excuse me if I mispronounce anyone's name. Okay. Gabrielle Popso, Chippewa Valley. Kyle Burglar, Eisenhower. Emily Britton, Stevenson. Molly Klein, Eisenhower. Nick Falarka, Eisenhower. Divya Bartley, Eisenhower. Joey Tidro, Eisenhower. Marcy Morris, Stevenson. Bosca Marcus, Chippewa Valley. Sarah Farmer, Chippewa Valley. Allison McGraw, Chippewa Valley. Arsenoy Bastonis, Eisenhower. Sydney Tremonti, Dakota. And Kirk Rasmussen, Utica. Okay, uh, so before I get to the team results, some, some housekeeping business. All of the awards that we've identified for both divisions, we will be sending uh, the medals for the individual events to the coaches or to the school. We will ask for confirmation before we send them out uh, so that we know where to send them to. The coaches or the school will then handle distribution to the individual students. The individual trophies for the teams, the team, the team trophies for the overall awards that we're about to show, those will also be sent to the coaches or to the school. Um, the we have seven positions for B division teams, seven invites to go to the state tournament. 
Uh, you will be getting that information for these schools after the tournament. Uh, sometime over the next few days, we will be in contact with you to arrange that. Uh, that goes for both B and C division, although C division has five teams, not seven. So there's a the overall roster of teams participating in the Michigan Science Olympiad at the state level has been uh, down from the pand because of the pandemic from previous years. Uh, so we get a higher percentage of our teams that are competing going to the state tournament this year. So the silver lining with the challenges that the students and the, the coaches have gone through with the supervisors is that you have a better chance of getting to the state tournament. So with that, seventh place, St. Augustine Catholic. Sixth place, Marysville Middle School. Fifth place, Lance Cruz Middle School North. Fourth place is Seneca Middle School. Third place, Iroquois Middle School. Second place is Mallow Junior High. And in first place, Davis Junior High. So before I advance to the C division, just a, a reminder to the coaches, I'm not sure if we actually said it in this meeting or not, we will be sending out the individual uh, award sheets, the normal Excel spreadsheets that you see with the schools by events and where they positioned in all of those, not just the award uh, counts, but the entire list uh, after, the, after the ceremony. Okay, Division C team results. In fifth place, International Academy of Macomb. In fourth place, Dakota High School. In third place, Chippewa Valley High School. In second place, Stevenson High School. In first place, Division C, Eisenhower High School. So just to note, these results are not final. Uh, we do still have to go through and, and firm everything up uh, and make sure we don't have any mistakes in the accounting. So um, these results were were direct from Psy Olympiad for the most part. So we do have to go through and make sure that uh, everything is consistent with the policy of eliminating the lowest three events from every school. Uh, we did make a crack at that, but we have to confirm that. And uh, once we finalize those, we will make sure everyone knows. OK. With that, um, keep an eye out for emails to the coaches with the listings and we will get back to you uh, with any questions or any changes that are stemming from this within the next uh, uh, 48 hours or so. Thank you. Thanks. And with that, we'll let everyone go. If anyone does have any questions, do not hesitate to contact one of the board members. Uh, we will uh, try to respond to everyone as soon as we can.